Hello, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and in this video I wanted to talk about the new Sonox Vox Doubler plugins, Thicken and Widen. So these are new plugins from Sonox for pitch shifting. Um, pitch shifting in the sense of, um, I guess you might think of it like some of us that were into the old, you know, even tide stuff, micro pitch shifting, things like that. Not pitch shifting in the sense of tuning vocals or anything like that. So the first thing I want to look at here with the UI is they have like a quick start kind of guide here. So we can see that Vox Double or Thicken generates one new stereo voice and overlaps it with the original. And then uh, we got a couple ways to control that here. Uh, this is like a total mix knob. And then over here, they have an aux mode. If you click on the aux mode, it completely eliminates the dry, the original voice, and you just get the processed voice. So normally, most situations, this is what I would use because I would be bussing into it. I wouldn't be inserting it on my vocal track or whatever I'm using it on. But in this case here, we got a mix. So we got the dry signal to the wet signal. And then we got the stereo spread over here. Uh, far left swaps the right side and the left side of the stereo signal it creates. And then over here is just a far panning of the left and right. And then uh, center, they're just collapsed to, whoops, center here, they're just collapsed to mono. And down here, I think these are a little obvious timing. So um, it tells you how far pushed back the process track is in relation to the original dry signal. And then the pitch, uh, how much processing is being done on it. Depth basically states it softens the process signal to help the dry signal stick out a little more as you turn it up, but not necessarily turn the process signals down. And then pretty typical tone knob, so you roll it to the left to make it more dark and to the right to make it brighter. There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose And a fallen star is empty at the core There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose And a fallen star is empty at the core Send your flight. There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose. And a fallen star is empty at the core. There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose. And a fallen star is empty at the core. There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose. And a fallen star is empty at the core. So I hope that gives you a little idea of what it can do. And then if we go over here and look at Widen, um, we can see that Widen generates two mono voices and pans them to the left and right of the original vocals, increasing the width of the stereo image. So basically Widen, it's kind of lame to say, but it gets wider than what Thicken does. Your right and left voices are now independent instead of uh, just a stereo track. Most of the same rules apply here. One difference with your panning, if you go far left, it's mono. So the two voices are collapsed in on the uh, center channel. And then basically as you go up, it's going to pan them more. Everything else is basically the same. You got your blend dry signal to wet signal. You have your aux mode here if you are bussing to it. And then same parameters on the timing pitch, depth and tone. There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose. And a fallen star is empty at the core. There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose And a fallen star is empty at the core
There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose And a fallen star is empty at the core There's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose And a fallen star is empty at the core there's no light that lingers in a darkened room without a purpose and a fallen star. So I hope that kind of uh, gives you an idea of what it's capable of. Um, I, I've been a big fan of the pitch shifting thing for a long time. You know, I still have my trusty Eventide H3000 sitting here beside me. You know, the various different plugins they have that can do it that I think over the last couple years especially have gotten uh, really good at it. And I think this is a really cool take on it, and I like it a lot. I've tried it on, you know, different instruments, guitars, vocals, uh, stuff I would normally put it on, sometimes a little bit on a uh, snare for an effect, things like that. All in all, I really like them. Uh, they do what they're advertised to do exceptionally well, I think, and I look forward to adding them to my arsenal. Thank you for watching the video and any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to comment on our website and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.